Thanks to Kim. So yeah. So I'm here. Nurse Scalpel. I don't actually wait, you wanted a scalpel, right? So this is one of these things? Well <laughs> the outdoor scalpel. Sorry, like that, and you just destroyed your own weave. Yeah. Okay, Alright, don't stress about it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so <laughs> last week I said we'll show you what we've got. Uh, sadly, half my stuff I uh, tried to look is still in boxes. It's in boxes because we moved. Yes, and still haven't had a chance to unpack half my our stuff. You know, and we have mind. a husky that eats things. Yeah, so we won't go into details. <laughs> so, first of all, I'll just rant off uh, what we need and what I've got, I'll show you. When you go hiking, first of all, like I said last week, the backpack isn't the essential. You need a sleeping bag. You need your, if you've got your sleeping mat, um, you need your cooking utensils, depending on the type of hike that you go on to. The food, um, always sealed, um, non-leakage, uh, uh, preferably as little as much perishable. You don't want something that will go off in the heat of the day. So, raw meats. Unless it's one overnight hike, you don't want raw meats. Um, try for long trips, uh, peanuts, trail snacks, all that. Just be careful what you get. For Biltong. Biltong will work. Uh, those of you that's not in South Africa. Um, beef, jerky. beef jerky in America. But be careful what you get. Always eat it ahead of time. A couple of weeks ahead. Not, you know. So otherwise, one thing you might, well, will need a lot of if you buy the wrong uh, type of thing. Yeah, and you don't want to uh, run too often because that will lead to dehydration. So be careful of that. So, item one, well, one of them. Yeah. Okay. Other stuff you will need, uh, like I said, is clothing. You need loose fitting clothing. It looks tight, but I can guarantee you it's not. Something nice, loose fitting, comfortable. It doesn't chafe. Extra clothing. You want extra clothing so that you can change. Sweaty clothing will end up in rashes. You don't want rash. You won't be able to hike for a long time. You want to take care of your feet, so extra pairs of socks. But uh, be careful what kind of socks you've got. This is the Folk socks. It's nice, thickly padded. It's designed for hiking. Yes, it's more expensive. It's worth it. Cheap socks will cause blisters. You do not want blisters. Other important thing that you need. It's a good pair of hiking boots. You don't have to go for the most expensive but a good pair. Hitex is a good option. This is, the, I, haven't, I actually have this now for quite a couple of years. It's 
and uh, I check PVC something I don't know no. it helps if it's waterproof um, sometimes you step into a little puddle or something water goes into your socks it's the v -light. once again the V-Light V-Light uh, it's not the most the cheapest high techs that you get but it's not the most expensive nice practical uh, going on blisters and socks and boots a tip and trick that I've learned that helped me a lot um, ahead of time a little spray bottle methylated spirits spray your feet it'll harden your skin to avoid blisters another thing guys you're not gonna like this and you're gonna feel awkward but stockings you don't have to get the full stockings ankle highs or knee highs what you do is you put your sock on your proper hiking sock on over that the stocking you will not know about blisters I can guarantee you that I've tried it I've had a three-day non-stop hike before I did not know about blisters also prevents sand, also prevents sand and chafing um, what well, another thing you need um, for personal protection a hat to prevent from the sun yeah you look like former John but a white trim hat is your best option the caps only protect from the front if the sun is high this will protect from the back as well neck sunburn is not a nice thing to have or ear sunburn believe me not a good thing suntan lotion you need suntan lotion in colder weather the hat will work and if you've got space for a beanie keep it a lot, lot of uh, heat is left is escaped and lost through the neck area and your head area so to prevent the neck a nice hoodie in the colder area if you don't have a hoodie just curl up your collar or your jacket um, yeah, other stuff you need that I've got at the moment is rope. You can build your shelter, um, normal rope like this, paracord like this. I've spoken about paracord before, go check it out. We'll have a link below for that. Um, a torch is helpful. What I've got that I use when I go to work. Is a little belt size torch in a pouch. LED lights, it'll save you on battery life, so you don't need that uh, many batteries, but spare batteries always help. LED conserved battery pow uh, power, nice comfortable pouch, it'll last a long time. Um, other things you need. A knife, like Kim said earlier. As some people prefer the fixed blade, I like this. It goes into the pouch nicely. Otherwise, nice multi-tool with several different items. Try not to get. Well, I prefer not to have um, multi-tools with the little screw bits. Screw bits. They could get lost. My personal pr uh, pr uh, preference, I went out and bought a mag pouch, double mag pouch. No, not for guns. You can use it if it's your thing, but easy access. You don't have to, if it's something you're gonna use a lot, if not, you don't want to care, uh, have things loose that you're not going to use all the time. If you're going to use it a lot, this carry goes onto your belt, put it somewhere where it's out of the way, where it won't interfere with the straps of the backpack. Other things you'll need a whistle, that 
I lost Sunday school camp, I picked up beads, so I just decorated. But whistle, if you can breathe, you'll always um, be able to have found somebody found, find you. Um, if you are injured, you've fallen off a ledge, you can't always, depending on the nature of your injury, you can't always scream. So? My sensitive, so I won't blow it. Kim's gonna slap me if I do blow it. I won't, you can blow it. You've got competition downstairs, anyways. Yeah. Nice thing if you a nature enthusiast, notepad and pencil. I prefer on um, cases like this, either clutch pencil or preferably a normal pencil. HB, Americans say number two. Number two and bog roll don't go together. Um, other things you can use the notepad for. So there, if there's something out of the ordinary, if you learn to know your climate and animal behavior, you can note it down. It'll help you in the long run. Matches won't always help you if the weather's wet, because your matches will get wet. Sometimes uh, it's good to carry a lighter as well. The lighter, the flint can go dry. Remember my storm candles that I made? It'll come in handy. Personal protection. I don't say I don't condone animal cruelty, but if there is something that um, bothers you, and I mean life threatening me bother, Personal carry size uh, pepper spray. If there are people trying to rob you, it'll also come in handy. Have it somewhere, it's an emergency item. You don't want this in the bottom of your backpack. And personal thing for the girls, learn how to use it. Yes. Guys, just because we are guys doesn't mean we are born with the instinct on uh, how to use it. And another item, I think they call it a click counter, I forgot the name now, I haven't used it for a while. Um, I'll explain the use of this and I've got a decent paracord now, I can do a decent one. It's just stuff I picked up and normal piece of string. Like I said, I'll use it, explain that later. But it's to measure distance, basically. Yeah, your steps. Cell phone won't always be handy. Remember, people are out to rob you of your items, if that's the environment you are in. So you don't want this exposed. Also, depending on how far you go out, you might want to switch your phone off. That way you won't waste battery life. And remember, just because you've got a phone doesn't mean that you can be connected. Signal doesn't reach everywhere if there's if you're out in the bush. Best option is a satellite phone. Best option is a satellite phone if you can afford one. I don't have one. That's where you learn to use signal mirrors and smoke signals. Other nitty gritty things. Um, is a magnesium fire striker, magnesium flint. It's got uh, different uses and uh, different names. A uh, little box of tinder uh, to start fire. Where you go, you, you might not always have dry tinder available to you, so you won't be able to start a fire. At night, if you're out in the open, your fire is your essential heat source. Thank you. Uh, another thing, if you've got space and weight, a portable stove with solid fuel, well, whatever you have to go with that. Just remember, if you're going to be out for long periods of long amount of days, your uh, portable stove could become dead weight. Keep that in mind. Uh, travel towel comes in handy. Uh, water purification tablets will save your life. Also, it will stop you stop giving you the runs 
you wouldn't have a problem with that. Um, like I said, cord. Um, you don't want too long, too short. 15 meters should be fine. Uh, spare shoelaces. You might need in an emergency or shoelace might snap off if it gets snagged on something. Um, depending on the area that you're in, you might need a bug net or a bug hat. Sorry. Um, insect repellent. To insect bites can become very distracting, can cause be very cause an irritation that will get your mindset to, mm, all screwed up. Uh, another important item is a space blanket. You should have that in your medic kit. I'll make another video about a proper medic kit later. A poncho, torch, I said, uh, a map and a waterproof care, uh, case, whether it be uh, Ziploc bags, anything that will keep the uh, map dry. You don't want your map to go wet. A uh, compass. Uh, like I said, paper and pencil, extra batteries, signal mirror, very important, uh, a sewing kit, toiletries, you're out in the bush, you're out in the field, you're out roughing it, but you need to look after your health. If you don't take care of your health, you will go downhill very quickly. In an emergency situation, you need to get your have your mind ready. Your mind is your sharpest object. So, have something to read. It doesn't have to be the Harry Potter series. Just... It's packed away now. One of, one of those little books, just something interesting. You can read it over and over. Spare tent stakes. Those things always get lost somewhere along the line. Fishing line and hooks. Camp X foldable blade. There's a couple of other things. <laughs> Thanks to Kim. So yeah. Anything else? Comment below. Any questions? Another item is a saw chain. I'll speak about that in another episode as well. So yeah. Check you guys again. Interruption comes. Ah, oh. <laughs> I ran all the way from the other side of the room. <laughs> <sighs> Wait, maybe a hike's not such a good idea. <laughs> yeah, well, hiking is better than running. Oh my goodness. It depends on what you want to do, of course. I had something I wanted to say, but I forgot now. The thought process is still coming. Yeah, I left it behind. Yeah, it's the so, uh, the government. I was fast like lightning. I was joking. Yeah, it's the government train, so it only comes later. If you guys want to do a collaboration with this guy, or if you want him to take you on some form of a survival camp, comment below, or my email says somewhere. Send him a business inquiry, and we will make a plan. Yeah. Okay. Cool. We should do. A vlog with a youth survival camp that we want to do. Oh, ho, ho. Young teenage boys that are very much city boys to do a survival camp. Oh.